be the best omelet I've ever had in my life. Look at this nice foamy espresso. But right outside our hotel is this little humble abode with is a restaurant also in their house. We fall in love with this place. It's a really sweet couple, husband and wife. Uh, we had the kitchen right outside, daughter. We really like their stir fry dishes, made fresh to order too. Everything made fresh to order, even she has this the two walk, the walk-in pan right outside the spot. They also have they have a soup called Lang, sour spicy pork spine soup. We didn't get that today. And she's just so quick yeah. and so fast. Like she no really is a pro. She knows what she's doing. This might be the best omelet I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you agree with me. It's really good. This is the Kai Jiao. It is different from any other omelet we've had anywhere in the world. It's very, it's very simple <laughs> and very satisfying. And the way we like to eat it is we like to cut a piece of it, go with the rice, and there's this beautiful sauce here, the gel. Oh my God. It's... It is salty, sour, and spicy. Best of both worlds. It's really a flavor explosion that jiao is like it's a really sour tangy hit spice and like the texture it's just thick kind of crunchy in there too this is the mukrup so it's a very classic dish is the uh, kale or chinese broccoli called different things with the crispy pork stir fried with all this fried garlic too it's a beautiful dish pairs perfectly with the rice this one just is incredible to see how fast she cooks it on that walk was really just cook up so fast on the high heat. Then you have that crispy pork to go with this. You really have a, it's a textural masterpiece too. You have that crunchy veggie. Yeah, I just love it. This dish too is also nice because it's not so heavy on the spice, but it's still, it's still heavy on flavor. It's very light. This one is not very oily. It's really, you get that nice vegetable earthiness and then you get that crispy pork. It gives that little bit of richness, but it's such a delicious dish. One of our favorite Thai dishes, period, is pao ka pao. So it's the minced meat, in this case it's gonna be pork, with basil. She, she is not shy in the amount of basil she puts in. Stir fried, there's onions, there's chilies, and she's not shy with the chilies either. There's also what I love about this place. They make it one way and mm -hmm. one way only. And the thing is with this one, what makes this one interesting is the century egg, is this fermented egg. It actually comes in a pink shell. And what's so interesting, this egg is like, it's nice, it's like it's got a slight fermentation taste, but it's not nothing too funky. It's not overly fermented. It gives it a creamy element to go with that minced pork and that spiciness. It kind of cuts through some of that heat. But I love the heat. I'm sweating already and adding this heat, adding this spice, I'm gonna sweat a lot more. <laughs> I 
I can't even count these chilies. I see, I think just about 15. There's probably red chilies more here. chilies here than um, pork because it's yeah. also a lot of uh, Thai basil. Fistfuls of Thai basil as she's cooking it. It's eating here too, because even if you sit inside, it's like eating in their home. It really, this feels like you're eating in their home. It's like a home cooked meal. It really is like a home cooked meal. So cooking me down on the street, and this we love this low key street right here. It's really a local block here at Hot Yai, and we fall in love with the city a lot based on this block. It's quiet and empty at this time. Pro tip: when you are in Asia, especially Southeast Asia, you've got to try have lots of fresh smoothie. This right here behind me is our favorite favorite smoothie spot. It's along the main road. Let's go. <laughs> um, mango, passion fruit, and orange. Loads of vitamin C. I'm getting mango, orange, and passion fruit. don't get sugar or add sugar with our smoothies but in here they put a pinch of salt no sugar salt a little bit yes it may sound weird but it actually perfectly blended together it's sour and then sweet from some like mango or whatever fruit you have in there and then the saltiness is like umami smoothie this, these 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 things they're all tiles this beautiful temple is surrounded made of tiles it's insane so beautiful Support our channel and support great local business that we're gonna highlight in each video. We're gonna put a link down in the description and in the pinned comment below. Check it out. The place we love here in Hot Yai has become our go-to coffee shop. It's called Yong Taiwan Cafe. We've been to Taiwan before. It's actually some of our first videos on this channel were in Taiwan. We loved it, beautiful country. So we stopped in one day and we tried the coffee and it's excellent. Why it's called Taiwan Cafe, it's a husband wife who own it. A husband has Taiwanese roots. The middle of Hot Yai is a Taiwan Cafe. The coffee here is just absolutely incredible. Look at this nice foamy espresso. No sugar, no milk, just straight up delicious, rich, foamy espresso. It's nice and strong, smooth. I love it. Please highly recommend coming here in Hot Yai. Jumi also has. Come nighttime, this area right, right behind us, right there, right this area right here, is a totally, totally different scene at night. One of the locals actually told us that this place is the local street food paradise. Now, time for dinner.
We are at Super Sun Road here in Hot Yai. It's incredible. At nighttime, it just turns into a street food paradise. Loving the vibe and energy here. There's so many stalls. And speaking of stalls, our first one here, we're actually gonna get a pork bun. So the variety of food you can get here too. Mmm, it's nice and hot. Nice chunk of that pork meat. Also with some egg in here. Pretty peppery. Uh, what I love about these buns though is that when you're hungry, it's the easiest way to start getting your stomach full. Right across the bao spot that we're having right now. This is Jiu spot and still right on the main road of Hat Yai. And let's go. This spot here on the corner, they sell 20 different juices in these little plastic bottles. I got lemongrass, I'm a lemongrass fanatic. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. This one actually comes a little bit frosty. So it's almost like drinking a slushy, but that lemongrass flavor is so strong and it's not too sweet, it's incredible. Mm. I drink about five of these bottles, no problem. Right next to this juice place. Right outside of 7-Eleven is where we'll have our salad bar outside 7-Eleven. Okay, let's go. another 7-Eleven. <laughs> it's like barely a block away. It's another 7-Eleven. That's Thailand for you. That's Thailand for you. And we're still at Soy Supper San. Supper San, yeah. Right, we have our salad already. Now we are gonna go to our favorite place, this food court right here. most famous dish, the hot yai fried chicken. So in this food court here on Super Sun Road, there's several stalls and one of them is this halal fried chicken stall and it is very busy all the time for good reason. chicken with the fried shallots, some fried garlic here. Mm. What I like about Hot Yai fried chicken, it's it doesn't have the crazy spice blend like say lemongrass and lime leaves like you may have in other fried chickens around the world. But this one's it's a simple marinade but it's very flavorful and very satisfying. So it has more of like garlic, maybe a little bit of coriander in there, pepper. But it's just nice and juicy with crispy outside skin and it pairs so perfectly with those fried shallots. This salad was literally right outside 7-Eleven um, on the side of the road, the main road. It just goes so perfectly with our fried chicken. Something healthy to balance it. There's a gyoza stall here, gyoza, Japanese dumplings that we absolutely just love. We are dumpling fanatics, we love them any of any type, anywhere around the world. And these are made fresh, fried, pan fried. And the nice thing is that there's even a little bit of a Thai twist to these. Let's try the dumpling first. The skin is not too doughy, not too thick. Nice and crispy on the bottom. They fry them perfectly. A little bit of pork and vegetable filling, but it's nice to have a little Thai touch. There's a little green dipping sauce.
It's also got more of those Thai flavors, like the lime, chili, garlic. It goes so well. We eat this gyoza, we eat this gyoza nearly every day from staying here in Hai. Yeah, that's how much we like it. That's the food court right there. And just another few steps. We are having this. This block really just feels like a night market. You know it's not a night market. It's like an every night market because there's so much great food here every single night. And we got here this milk bun stuffed with sankaya, the pandan custard. And I love it because they've grilled this bun over charcoal. It's got these nice grill marks. Oh. I'm such a big pandan lover, and this pandan custard is really strong pandan flavor. It's nice because the outside of the bun is hot, but the inside custard is a little cooler. It's a nice contrast temperature too. Delicious. Every time we come and pass by this little stall, it's always long lines. Now we know why. Let me tell you, it is on a motorbike. 